So today we have just one thought that we can also uh, reflect on, and it's drawn from our first reading that we've had from the book of uh, Deuteronomy. And the line simply says that do not forget the things that your eyes have seen. Do not forget the things that your eyes have seen in the past. I've had the privilege of visiting the Holy Land and uh, we drove it from Egypt all the way through the Sinai and uh, that all through the desert until we were able to make it to Israel. It is a very tough drive through the Sinai from Egypt heading towards Israel. And uh, we've organized a pilgrimage to the Holy Land in October. This Holy Cross Family Ministries has organized one. And we are going to be doing almost three territories. We're going to be in Jordan, we're going to be in Israel, and Palestine, and we're also going to be uh, uh, in Egypt. So we're going to start from the end, coming this way. And then we'll fly out of Cairo, coming back. There are flyers outside there about this uh, uh, pilgrimage. So if you are interested or a family member might be interested in this kind of trip, you can be able to pick them and share with them. What happens when you go to those places, you experience the Bible on the ground, where people are pointing out, it's this powerful to drive through these lands, and you see a signpost that says, Cana, 28 miles this way. Or you're driving somewhere, and the signpost is telling you, uh, Nazareth, 30 miles to this direction. It's just a... It's just a powerful experience to breathe the air while you are there. So today in our first reading, we hear about the Israelites when they were about to cross the Jordan to enter the promised land. Life had been hard for them in Egypt as slaves. Their redemption from slavery had been challenging, but a miracle somehow that God was able to pull off for them. So traveling through the desert through all these years hadn't been easy either for them. There was no food. There was no water. They were attacked by their enemies. But God had saved them from all their enemies. He protected them, fed them. And here they were on the banks of the river looking into the promised land that God had prepared for them, ready to cross it must have been a very exciting experience for them. And as I was preparing this reflection, maybe that is the same experience that European immigrants had or that had been persecuted in Europe, and maybe that had been poor. It's the same feeling that they had when they saw the start of liberty with that light as they are approaching in their books. He said, at last we're here. At last we are here. We are arriving into this land. So this is where they are, and that's the setting of this reading. Moses sat down the Israelites as they prepared to cross the Jordan and enter into this land, and he offered them one last piece of counsel to them. And he told them that do not forget the things that your eyes have seen done by God in your life. Do not be forgetful. Return to these experiences often. Refresh your memory all the time. Remember where God has brought you from. It was not your power. It was not your might. It was not your wisdom that you are where you are right now. That's not what happened. It has been, God has been all through these experiences that you've gone through. It was his goodness and his love that has carried you and accompanied you up to this point where you are right now. So he tells them, stay close to him. Be loyal, be faithful to God in the new land that you are going to enter. Today, we're being warned about the dangers of spiritual amnesia. The dangers of spiritual amnesia. The problem of forgetting God, forgetting where he has brought us from, 
and forgetting the many good things that he has done for us in our lives. Our personal lives are testimonies in their own way. If you go back into your life, your personal life, or in your family, you will be able to find experiences that remind you that God has actually walked with you this whole journey up to where you are right now. You will be able to see vestiges or traces of his hand throughout your life. And you can be able to see that, you know what? It has been God that has been able really to help me through this life's journey. One of the most important spiritual habits is actually to keep an inventory of your spiritual moments or good mountaintop experiences that we've experienced throughout your life. You just keep a tab on them. Just keep a tab on them. And you store them somewhere. Because there are times when we go through dry spiritual seasons. When we can't experience God, when we feel he's so far away, we can't connect, we can't pray very well. These are the moments when you go back to those experiences and start drawing them out. And you try to relive them again so that they can be able to spark your life again into motion, your spiritual life back into motion. In my language, we say, he or she does not remember the past, cannot give a hug to a grandma. If you can't remember the past, you will find some kind of excuse not to give a hug to your grandma. But if uh, you, can, you have a good memory, you can be able to remember the past and of how kind they were to you and how far they went to take care of you, you will have so many reasons why you need to give your grandma this very good warm hug. So today, as we continue in this Mass, we pray that the Lord gives us a good memory. Gives us good memory. And we also ask him to teach us the art of counting and celebrating the many blessings that he has given us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.